with that and I wanted him to give me like the exact answer <laughs> <laughs> but he never did and that's how God works most of the time yeah. but um, every time he would tell me have you sat with God and then follow peace every single time tell me where's peace leading you follow that and I've used that throughout like so many different decisions that I've had to make. God's still working. For sure. I said earlier, His hand is in this. We're still going forward. And all the lives that He's impacted, those people now have assignments too. I remember my grandpa saying that um, sometimes the Jesus in you is the only Jesus that people are ever going to see. And welcome to Winning Conversations. We are so glad you're here. We are continuing our legacy series. Andy's with me today, and we have another very special guest. And that's Madison Everidge. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are y'all doing? Good. Good. We're good. Glad to have you. Yes. And as an introduction, you are one of Dr. Savelle's grandkids, correct? Yes, I yes. am. Yeah. I'm a fourth in the lineup. Yeah. Okay. Fourth in the lineup. So, yeah, there's a whole bunch of us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we've, had, we've just had a, a fun time talking to all the grandkids that yes. we can, you know, have access to and talk to. And so yeah. it's great to have you on. Yes. I'm so grateful to be here. Thank you all so much for having me. Are Thank you, you nervous? I'm excited. You're excited. I'm excited. <laughs> okay. Well, we're excited to have you, and we know your your grandpa made such an impact on our lives and the lives of a thousand thousands of people. Yeah. yeah. Um. We want to know kind of what it was like growing up with him and having to be your papa yeah. and kind of start start. There. I feel like every grandkid has a different perspective too. I so I I'm excited to hear from. The girl, one yes. of the girls, yes. one of the two. Yes. We're special in yes. his heart. In his heart, y'all are yes. y'all are the only girls, the only daughters from his only daughters. So that's very, that's yeah. really special. It is that's very really special. Yeah, me and yeah. Cassidy are the only granddaughters. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was super special. I mean, he was so caring and so loving and I mean it didn't matter if like you saw him the day before he would still greet you the same way with a warm hug and mm -hmm. genuinely look at you and care about what was going on in your life and um, you always felt loved you knew you were loved by him there's no question about it um, so he always just made you feel like you were someone important and special to him mm -hmm. um, he was so funny and I'm sure we can infer that from his messages. There's always like a little bit of sense of humor in it, but um, he was just so quick and witty with his responses. Like our big old family would be talking and we didn't know if he would be listening or not. And then he would just Chime come in. up with a funny <laughs> response and we'd be like, Bob, we didn't even know you were listening. Like, how did you even come up with that too? But um, he was always fun to be around, always loving always giving mm -hmm. you know we know that he was a huge giver yeah. but just with anything like I would go with him to lunch and he'd be like here's some gas money for you to go home I'm what like a classic how grandfather, do you yeah. him always yeah. thinking you know always thinking of you um so he he was just so great and so just fun fun to be around I have like a few funny memories of uh my younger brothers, they would try to teach him like some dance moves, like oh my gosh. like the TikTok dance moves. Oh my gosh. Stop. So think of Jerry Savelle <laughs> trying to do like these like funny popular dance moves. The boys would try to like pull that out of him, and he would do them and just that be so hilarious. funny and making the whole That's family great. laugh. And so he was always a joy to be around. We yeah. loved being around him. So I'm so grateful that. He was my grandpa. For yeah, sure. For sure. Yeah. When you were younger, did you, did you like understand the capacity at which he like operated, like his ministry and his, like the church and all the things? Did you understand just how much of a figure he was? No, not at all. Yeah. Not when I was younger at all. I mean, to me, he was just pop on, right. you yeah. know. Um, and then like growing up seeing how many people were impacted by him like it's amazing it's you can see like God working through him through his story through the people that come up to him and send us letters and calls and mm -hmm. it's it's so amazing to be a part of so I did not know that yeah. at all understand it at all when I was younger but I'm I mean it's amazing to be a part of and witness it so 
That's and now awesome. you work for JSMI. Yes. So yeah. what do you tell do? Yeah, tell us what you do there. So I do the social media for um, Jerry Savelle Ministries. Um, I work with some of our international offices as well. And so I just get all the content that I can and try to, you know, share it with everyone as we can. I ask the Holy Spirit to guide me in all of that. What are the messages that people want to hear? And so right. it's been a fun journey so far. I love doing it. It's, you know, you connect with so many people and mm -hmm. then you get to hear so many testimonies. And again, I'm still learning his impact and yeah, right. being amazed by it, honestly. So it's been great. What brought you here though? Because you haven't, you, you haven't like always worked in social media or any of that. So what brought you to JSMI? So my background is event planning. So I used to do a bunch of wedding planning before um, and I loved it and I was super passionate about it. But there came a time and I can't really explain it, but sometimes like a wrestling in your spirit that you need to Something mm -hmm. needs to change. Mm -hmm. And I'd sit with God and ask him. And then my grandma and my grandpa had been asking me years prior to come and work for them. And I was like, no, I'm doing wedding planning. You guys know this. I'm doing wedding <laughs> right. planning. And then finally they asked me again. It was probably the third time that they asked me. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't have a background in it. I've never felt led to do social media or anything. And then it was like this piece to go in that direction. And I'm so, so grateful that I did it because I did not know that my first year of working at the ministry was my grandpa's last year of life on earth. Yeah. And so I'm so grateful that I got that time with him. And I know that was God's hand right. in sure. that leading me and giving me that time and making me be able to serve him in the ministry during that time. So I'm so grateful. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. That's such a, like a testament, a testament of hearing from God and being obedient also, because yeah. look at what you potentially could have missed oh, yeah. had you not have been obedient and oh, just yeah. come here. Oh yeah. Even when you have no idea what right. he's doing, I was like, I feel peace in this. Okay, let's do it. Let's okay. See. Yeah. And now I'm like, I, I understand a little bit. Now I got more time with my grandpa because yeah. of it. So yeah. yeah, that is amazing. That's, that's really neat. I love yeah. when God orchestrates stuff without us knowing. Right. And all it takes is our obedience. Oh, yeah. It's good. Yeah. Thinking about his transition to heaven, how has that one changed your role and how did that, how did you process yeah. that? Um, it was all a shock. It was a shock to all of sure. us, you know. I, could, I mean, everybody. It was a yeah. shock to everybody. Um, so it was definitely hard. We still miss him a ton. Um, but I think one thing that we all find comfort in is that it wasn't a shock to God. And he knew this was going to happen. So he's going to provide the steps. And he has been providing the steps for us. And um, Papa used to say, like, the hand of God represents his provision. And that's exactly what God is doing. He's providing every step of the way. Mm -hmm. um, he's given Mimi a vision. He's yeah. giving her confidence and peace. He's giving our staff the creativity to move forward and yeah. carry on the legacy. Um, so God's God's hand is in this, and we yeah. could not be doing it without God and his grace. So we're so grateful for that, and that's how the transition has been so far. Yeah. How has it been for you as his and one of his granddaughters? Like what has helped you the most walk through that transition time? Yeah, I think remembering the things that he taught me and also giving thanks to God for the time that I got with him and all the things that he taught me. Um, not a lot of people have grandpas like Jerry Savelle. True. So <laughs> I'm so grateful. And when I get sad or I miss him, I turn it to thanks and I'm like, thank you, Lord, that I got that time. Thank you for that memory. Thank mm -hmm. you for him teaching me that. So we miss him, but I'm grateful. I'm so grateful that okay. he was my grandpa for sure. That's good. And you have like, I always think about this too, like hearing his voice, you have so much resources to yes. like, and yeah. who he was are in his messages. They're oh, yeah. in the things that he talked about. So anytime, like, that's just such an incredible resource to have. Oh, yeah. You know, you start to miss him. Let me go back and listen 
to yeah, this or let right. me go back and hear his voice. That's mm-hmm. comforting knowing that. And then also, yeah, remembering just the impact that the continuous impact because it's not yeah, stopped, it's not like done. it's not done. Yeah, right. The impact that his life has made. And I think we've talked about this before, but like that motivates you to want to be to be better and to hear God more and to spread oh, yeah. love more and all that stuff. Yeah, it definitely does. I think, you know, carrying on his legacy, you do realize that he had a call on his life. He fulfilled his call. That means that every single one of us have a calling on our mm-hmm. lives and it makes you want to tap into those gifts mm-hmm. that God has given you even more and press forward to the calling that God has for you and really sit with God and yeah. say, where do you want me right now? What do you want me to do? Yeah. Yeah. Because I want to carry on the legacy. How do you want me to do that? Mm-hmm. Um, so you definitely feel that a lot more now. And I'm grateful for that feeling. Yeah. yeah. What are some of the, like the lessons or scriptures or messages that have been your favorite hearing? Yeah. Um, I would say some of the lessons that he's taught me um, I remember countless times that I would call him and I would be like, Papa, I don't know what to do in this situation. Which direction do I take? Do I go with this? Do I go with that? And I wanted him to give me like the exact answer. <laughs> <laughs> but he never did. And that's how God works most of the time. Yeah. Right. But um, every time he would tell me, have you sat with God? And are you sitting with him? Are you listening to him? Are you in his word? Are you actually listening, not doing all the talking mm-hmm. and you're listening to him? So he would say that, have you sat with God and then follow peace every single time. He would tell me, where's peace leading you? Follow that. And I've used that throughout like so many different decisions that I've had to make. And I even tell my friends that and then they recite it back to me whenever I need it again. Mm-hmm. Um, so I always think of him, you know, when I'm making decisions or my mind is trying to go crazy or yeah. something and I remember okay have I sat with God and then where's peace at let's stay in peace let's stay that's in God's good. peace yeah that's good yeah what about messages what have yeah. been some of your favorite messages you oh my gosh there's so many <laughs> but um definitely called to battle destined to win that one just gets you fired up it really does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. so if you're down it you need to listen to Call to Battle, Destin to Win. That is just such a good one. You could tell he was just like so mad at the enemy. And yeah, I love that one. Um, I hear him saying a lot about like perseverance. And I'm sure y'all could hear him say like having done all to stand, stand right. there for, keep standing. Mm-hmm. Um, like quitting is not an option. So he's definitely instilled that into me that we can't quit. It's not even an option. So I definitely take that with me throughout my life. And I'm grateful that I had a grandpa that could instill that. Yeah. You know, yeah, sure. For sure. Those are messages that we cherish a lot too. I loved having, like hearing the stories of people that were impacted by those messages, impacted by all that, especially uh, like at Southwest, you're standing around the booth and Mm -hmm. listening to people's stories and stuff like that. It's interesting as people walk through um, the passing of someone, mm-hmm. how their, how they process it and how their memory helps spur you on to the future yeah. spur Like, okay, well, I want to be like he was, Yeah, I mm-hmm. want to live the life of integrity that he lived. Um, when you think about the future and moving yeah. forward, what is that? What do you take with you into the future? That was him. I think that I would take, you know, his not giving up mentality and knowing that just because Papa has gone to heaven doesn't mean that JSMI or Jerry'sville Ministries is done. God's mm-hmm. still working. For sure. They said earlier, his hand is in this. We're still going forward. And all the lives that he's impacted, those people now have assignments too yeah. to keep going and keep carrying on that legacy, tapping into your calling mm-hmm. and moving forward with that. Yeah, that's yeah, good. That's awesome. That's good. I I like I want to go back to what you said about when you would call him and ask for answers because we've heard that from yeah, your siblings. Your siblings. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same but thing. But I was I was just sitting there <laughs> thinking about that cuz I was like as a parent, you know, there's things that like my daughter will ask me and I don't have the answers yeah. to them. So that's like a fallback, right? Is yeah. 
okay, we'll go talk to God because he has the answers, you know. I yeah. So not only right. is that like a fallback for me because I'm like, <laughs> I don't know how to respond to this, yeah. but also it is a good lesson yeah, when you're teaching, teaching yeah. you that like, yeah. you can't always rely on somebody else yep. to tell you what to do. Sometimes you really just need to sit down, shut your mouth yes. and listen. Yeah. Yeah. Just sit, And yeah. I was like, I've when you were talking, I was just sitting here thinking about that. I was like, that's so simple, but it's so powerful because yeah. Yeah. we are so used to just like letting our anxiety build up. Mm-hmm. And then in our head, it's just emotion or words or things that are just constant, 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 yeah. like just quiet, the yeah. quiet, the noise, like sit there yeah. and just quiet and just hear from God. Yeah, I know. I didn't know that when he was telling me that every time, like I would want him to give me right. the yes, answer that's to easy. do. Yeah. But I didn't know that in those moments he was teaching me how to hear the voice of God. Right. And yeah. How to sit and listen to that small whisper yes. and not look to somebody else to figure out what do I do, but to hear directly from God. And I mean, that's like the biggest thing. Yeah, lesson. and then when you do hear, you'll you'll feel that yeah. peace, just yes. like the reason why you came here. It was because you felt that peace. And I've been in that same situation where you feel like just something's off, Yeah. but yeah. I was go, go, like trying in my, in my own, trying to figure out, okay, why am I feeling this way? What right. do I need to do? Where do I need mm-hmm. to go? Do I need to do this? Do I need to say this? Do I yeah. need to move here? Yep. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, doing all these different things when all I needed to do was just, sit for a second. Yep. Like I was I was working a job years years ago and I was feeling that same way. I was like mm. something just doesn't feel right. Yeah. I would walk in the building and I was like on the outside I love what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. I love the people I'm with, but something feels off right, yep. and it literally took me sitting in my car on my lunch break. That'll do no it. No music, <laughs> no podcast, nothing just sitting there. Yeah. And I texted my mom immediately and was like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, Cause yeah. I just, knew, you know, you just felt that peace. Right. Like yeah. that is just such a powerful message. And I don't know why I'm like stuck on that, but I just feel like somebody it's needs so to simple, hear that. But it's so life changing. Yeah, it is. Like if yeah. you base your decisions on that, God's gonna show up yeah. every single time. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I just, I love that. That was good. I remember Dr. Seville saying in some message at some point, I have zero idea where it's at, <laughs> but like always let peace guide your decisions. Mm-hmm. And if you make a decision in fear, you're going to make a wrong decision. Yep. Yeah, and exactly. Like if fear is driving whatever decision you're making, whether it's for your kids mm-hmm. or your job or whatever, then it's, it's going to take you down the wrong path. Yeah. Like yeah. guaranteed. Yeah. So always seeking that peace. Yeah, exactly. That is good. Yeah. That is good. I had a situation recently where I either had to make this decision or this decision, and I didn't feel peace on either side. So I was like, I'm not making a decision until I yeah, feel peace. Because yeah. I know I'm trained to do that. So I'm not making a decision. Just don't right move, now. don't do anything. Exactly. Yeah. That's good. It is good. It is good. <laughs> yeah, I and like that. You know that. what else is good? What? Winning in life. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> What a transition. What a transition. Uh, so that's We're really professionals good. here such a good transition. on this podcast. We are professionals, okay? Yeah. We just have to point it out once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. She just slid that one in there. Yeah. Uh, that's the theme. Your, your, your papa's life was all about making winners in life. That's what yeah. Heritage, you know, is yeah. founded on. That's yeah. their motto. So with everything we've talked about and the looking forward ahead, what does that statement really mean to you now? Yeah, um, I think that it means uh, showing the love of Jesus to people. Making winners in life is showing the love of Jesus to people. I remember my grandpa saying that um, sometimes the Jesus in you is the only Jesus that people are ever going to see. Yeah. So taking yourself out of it and looking around that there might be people around you that just a simple smile or yeah. being friendly to someone could start a conversation and change your life. I've had that happen several times where I just smile at someone and it sparks up a conversation. They're asking me about the Lord. So (laughs) you never know what, like showing love to people and we're the hands and feet of Jesus. So whatever way that you're called to do that, step into that and show that love to people. That's good. It's simple, but just so good. Simple. Because people need need to feel love. 
starting off like, did you know Jesus loves you? Yeah. Or let me pray for you. That's a little intimidating. intimidating. You know what I mean? And yeah. then that might be like, uh, okay, weirdo. <laughs> no, you know what yeah. I mean? But yeah. the simple things like Just, complimenting yes. somebody or smiling yeah, at yes. them or thank you so much. Yes. Like something like that. The barista that. at the coffee shop. Yes. Right? You actually ask her how her day's yes. going. Look her in the eyes. I actually and, mean it. You yes. know what? Yeah. I've been really trying to do that lately because when I'm like ordering something, I'll be like, yeah, I'm good. How are you? And I won't even look at them. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know what? I know. Need to make look at this person casual. in the face. Yes. Yes. Yeah. There's so many people that don't know that they're seen by God. Mm -hmm. right? They're loved by him. Yes. They're called by him. And these, I mean, they could be big acts of faith, like Paul Paul preaching to thousands of people right. or like we're, what we're talking about, just smiling, being friendly, showing the love in you to other people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and that's what Brother Jerry was really great at. I think we've heard a lot of times echoed in this series is whether he was preaching to thousands or going to get the, the coffee shop. Yeah. He yeah. was always super personable. Oh, yeah. Like he cared about everybody the same way. Like, and we yes. need to be consistent in that also. The yes. same way we are here, we need to be out there keeping that yeah, for consistency. Sure. consistency. Yes. Yeah. That's one big thing about him that I'm sure y'all have heard a lot is yeah. the in seeing yourselves is like, his consistent behavior, yeah. Yeah. always kind, always a gentleman, always, you know, yes. no matter who was in the room, what environment, yeah. I and mean, that's what we should strive to be. That's For so sure. good. Yeah. I know my kids had a very limited, ex, you know, exposure to him because yeah. they, they're so little, but they still, they remember like, he said hi to us at the picnic, Aww. you know, like people remember <laughs> yeah. the kindness that he yeah. had, so. Anyway, we really appreciate you coming yes, on. Oh my gosh, so I'm nice. so grateful to be here. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank y'all for having me. And thank you everybody for watching. We are still in our legacy series. So if you haven't, go back and watch yes. and listen to the other conversations we've had. We've had some really good ones. Just honoring the legacy that was Dr. Savell. And tune in next week because we have more. Also, check out... Jerry Savelle Min yes. on Instagram, Instagram org <laughs> online, and YouTube at Jerry Savelle. Yes? Yes, you yes. did it. You did it. Okay, and then also us too. Yeah, check us out. We're, awesome. we're, we're also on YouTube. We are on the social, so check us all out, and we will see you next week for more winning conversations.